Here is a very brief description of VoiceBot and how I'm going to use it. VoiceBot is a customizable voice recognition software which, as far as I can tell, uses Windows speech recognition for recognizing the spoken words, and does the equivalent of Windows speech recognition macros, but through a far nicer and more intuitive interface. However, its great advantage over using those macros is that Windows speech recognition isn't actually running when VoiceBot is running. You can choose your custom commands, and whenever you say something that's not among those custom commands, the computer does nothing. This means it is no longer necessary to put a J in JClick, because you can just put in a click command, and if you happen to murmur something after saying click, VoiceBot will just do nothing, whereas Windows speech recognition macros would try to act on it and click on a particular icon. This is partly why I couldn't narrate easily while demonstrating hex cells and words for evil, in case Windows speech recognition interpreted it as an unwelcome command, and why I had to say stop listening to explain something. Mostly I use commands just like the clicking macros, as well as ones for moving the cursor by various increments, and pressing keys a number of times. There are some limits for each of these, and a certain amount of calibration is required for each game. When it comes to setting mouse coordinates and movements, I find it helps to use both AutoHotkey's Window Spy to tell you the precise coordinates of the cursor on the screen or in the current window, as well as Windows Screen Magnifier, so you can tell when you're on a specific pixel and can get the right coordinate. Where possible, I will try to highlight if a game can still be easily played with the previous toolsets. For example, point-and-click games which would still be playable with mouse sense, voice finger, and Windows speech recognition macros. I may still say J-click now and then, partly out of habit and partly so that my demonstration would work for anyone still using the macros. Note also that you can set the custom commands to activate hotkeys, such as the ones in Cheat Engine and Auto Hotkey. You can make a Binary Fortress account to keep all your VoiceBot profiles backed up online and easily accessible from other machines but it's worth knowing that it can take a minute or two to sync your files after you've edited something. You can save time by doing a lot of edits in one go, or logging out whenever you're doing an editing session, and then once finished, logging back in to back it up.